What is good, YouTube? You should already know who I am by now. If you've been keeping up with my content, I'm your boy, your man, the kid, King Corday, and I'm coming at y'all again with another brand new video. And today, man, I'm gonna give y'all a slight update on what I've been doing, the shoes that I've copped, and today I also have a nice little review for you guys on a pair of sneakers that I really, really like. You already know what to do by now, y'all. Go ahead, kick back, relax, grab some snacks, grab a drink, do whatever it is you're gonna do. And let's get into today's video, y'all. Gang. I have been away from YouTube for quite some time now, you know, had to struggle with doing videos and working at the same time, but I'm trying to balance everything out, y'all, get my life together, you know what I'm saying, so I can bring y'all more content, more sneaker reviews, more outfit concepts, etc, etc. Also, guys, I finally have a capture card, so I'm going to start streaming and uploading gaming content, so be on the lookout for that soon. But as far as today's video, guys, I'm going to give you a sneak peek into a few the sneakers that I have copped and I haven't done reviews on, but I may do reviews on later on down the line. And here we are, y'all. One of the sneakers that I copped but I didn't do a review on. I really like this sneaker. This is the Air Jordan 5 Anthracite. really like this sneaker is a very cool sneaker I love the color block and I love the materials on it and we will be doing a review on this sneaker pretty soon and here we are y'all here's another sneaker that I copped during my time away from YouTube this is the Air Jordan 6 Carmine the 2021 version really like this sneaker this is a great retro there was a lot of controversy behind the sneaker at first the red suede dying into the midsole but I'm glad that I have this sneaker and I definitely will be doing a review on the sneaker later on in the future all right y'all now let's get into today's video y'all super excited about this pair of sneakers that I have it was a bit hard to get them at first I struck out on sneakers I wasn't able to cop the W so I went to my old trusty reliable I went to the GOAT copped them through the GOAT app. I have them, they are a women's exclusive. And here we are y'all for your viewing pleasure today. This is the Air Jordan 1 Retro Silver Toe. So here we are once again, y'all. This is the Air Jordan 1 Silver Toe Women's Exclusive Sneaker. So taking a look at the sneaker, y'all, it's a very well done sneaker. I really love the color blocking on it. I love the leather, the silver accented leather, the silver leather hang tag on the side, the leather on the collar of the shoe. One of the best accents about the shoe, in my opinion, the silver sparkle laces. I really think this is a super cool touch. I'm really glad that I was able to cop this sneaker. Since this sneaker was a women's exclusive, I had to cop it in a 14 and a half. That translates to a 13, a size 13 in men's. And one of the best features of this shoe, the sock liner is made out of like a velvety type of material. Super comfortable, soft to the touch, and I'm glad to have this sneaker in my collection. So with all that being said, y'all, I'm going to stop doing all this talking. I'm going to go ahead and put these bad boys on the toe, give you an on-foot look, and See how you like it guys. I'm gonna be right back at y'all with it.
All right, y'all, we are back. So I'm gonna leave you with my final impressions on the Air Jordan 1 Silver Toe. I think it's a really well done shoe. If I had to rate this shoe, taking my personal feelings out of the shoe, if I had to give this shoe an overall rating, this shoe would get a nine and a half out of 10. I know that sounds crazy, but let me explain to you why. The reason why I would give this shoe a nine and a half out of 10 is because one of the premier effects of it is that it is a women's exclusive. It was super hard to get. I had to jump through hoops just to get this shoe. But besides that, I feel like this shoe just has lots of great fabrics, lots of great materials, lots of great details. This shoe, in essence, reminds me of the Pass the Torch Air Jordan 1s that Kawhi Leonard made when he was still with Jordan. It doesn't have the translucent outsole with, with the claw on the bottom, but it's okay. It still reminds me of the Pass the Torch Air Jordan 1s. The shoe is a must-have for your collection. Honestly, this shoe is probably one of my favorite Air Jordan 1s that I own out of my entire collection. But all right, y'all, that's gonna do it for my video today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you always supporting, always tuning in. Make sure you guys leave a like on this video. I work really hard on these videos, guys. And if you give this video a thumbs up, I will greatly appreciate it. It helps with the algorithm. It helps my video to be seen by more and more people. And that just helps my channel grow ultimately. If you are not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button down below and click on the bell notification so that you can be the first to see whenever I drop a brand new video. I've looked at the metrics of my video and I've seen that a lot of people who've watched my video so far are not subscribed to my channel. So if you could just hit that subscribe button, turn on that bell notification so you can be the first to see whenever I drop a brand new video. Also make sure you go give me a follow over on my Instagram at King Corday. You can hit me up there, drop me a line anytime. Let me know what you got going on. We can stay in touch but once again as i said that's gonna do it for my video today i'm gonna get about your hair much love thank you to everybody for watching thank you for always continuously supporting i'm back on youtube i'm gonna do my best to give you guys consistent content just got a new pair of sneakers that came in the mail yesterday i'll have that video uploaded on youtube pretty soon so be on the lookout for that and i have another pair of sneakers that will be touching down hopefully sometime next week so be on the lookout for that as well i am King Corday signing out. I'll see y'all next one, y'all.